It's time for another virtual reality storm chase. This one, Northeast New Mexico, we've got a supercell and upslope flow. Now, as you look around, you can see this storm, it's got a really nice thick downdraft, but the updraft is looks small. That's because it's weakening. This is a weakening storm at this point. Oh, that's a bummer. But just look around. Now, since this storm is weakening, it's probably a good idea to boost out a little east just to, you know, see if something else can take shape. So let's do that. Now, just looking out here, you can see the original storm way back there. You can see the downdraft, and then you can see several other updrafts are taking shape around here. This upslope flow is really, really cranking up storms. Uh, you can tell that we're about to get a lot more crowded, which not so great for our supercell potential today, but maybe, just maybe, we can eke out something else. Now these storms have gotten a little closer to us again, and you can see just several, a collection of updrafts now, really all overhead, over here to the back. That's still that original supercell. It's still there trying to do its thing, but that base continues to get a little less wide. Anytime you see a base shriveling like this, it means the storm is weakening. So driving uh, to connect to a highway, going to continue to boost that east. This is a lot of updrafts going up at once. We got to get out east and just see, you know, if one can take over and spin a little bit. And so we're out here a little bit east now, and it's just like a collection of updrafts. There's so much going on back here. It's hard to really tell, but right here you can see What's that? That almost looks like a wall cloud, doesn't it? Because it's right underneath an updraft. There's a downdraft right there. It's like, oh my gosh, that looks very interesting. But there are a lot of updrafts here and a lot of them are precipitating. So this could be an outflow feature, AKA a developing shelf cloud. And if that's the case, well, we know where this day goes. Anytime you see a bunch of updrafts and you see a cold pool develop and shelf cloud starts pushing out, well, that's game over, at least for supercells in that regard. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this. Is this a shelf cloud? Is it a wall cloud? Well, I guess we're going to find out very shortly. I'm going to be a nerd and say I never tried to cross dissolve in virtual reality, so I hope that wasn't too trippy. But looking down the highway, okay, yeah, it's clear. This thing is shelving out. Just, oh, you can see a lot of updrafts. You can see back there, way down the highway, if you look down there, it gets really dark. That's another set of storms. So everything here pointing toward a developing line. You can see precip here developing on the right side of this shelf cloud. That is just, a, you know, these are all really good indications that. We've got us a developing shelf and this is a developing line of storms. So you can just kind of expect this to continue to build upstream. And just fast forwarding just a little bit and you can see this is a clear shelf cloud. This thing is 100% we've shelved out. We've got a line of storms. Uh, pretty cool because, hey, anytime you can get a severe thunderstorm, which this one is, that's a pretty good day. But at the same time, definitely we went from supercell to a line of storms and this was all over just about an hour. That's how quick storms can change. We went from a rotating cellular thunderstorm to a line of storms and you saw it happen from that initial supercell to the updrafts, collection of updrafts, then that form. Now we're, you know, all those updrafts have kind of moved on and shelved out. And here we are, we've got a severe line of storms. They're marching across the New Mexican prairie and the storm chase, well, it's a shelf cloud chase now, which we're going to have to live with, right? So hey, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait for 2021 where I can personally leave the state a little bit more. COVID really put a crimp in my chase season and many others chase season as well. Plus there wasn't that much to chase anyways. Am I right? Am I right? And anyways, uh, be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, all those things. Can't wait to do more virtual reality stuff from my summer chases here in New Mexico. And well, I can't wait to do a couple of other really fun videos. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time.